Hello and welcome back. In this section of the course, I'll take you through the CAD design of the various components of the jack. So this is the model workspace of Fusion 360. And first we are going to start by making a new component. So we are going to make the base bracket first. So right click on the topmost level or topmost line over here and click new component. So this will create a new component and just rename it. So I'm renaming it as base bracket and then turn on the origin and I'll start sketching on one of the planes. So create sketch, select one of the planes. Now the first thing I'll be doing is I'll be making the two circles which make the two pins of the base bracket. So from the skeletons uh, sketch or from the parametric sketch, I know the dimensions. So I'm going to make the two circles, one over here and one over here, keeping the diameter as 10. So I'm pressing the hotkey D to bring up the uh, dimensioning option. You can see the cursor changes when I press D. Now I'll be spacing these two circles with the dimension of 32 and I'll be making these two symmetric about the about this line that is the y axis. So I'm going to make this as 16 become symmetry. The next step is I'll be making a horizontal line connecting them. So this is the line connecting them and I'll be dimensioning this horizontal line with respect to the origin to constrain the sketch. So now you can see the sketch has become black fully that means it is fully constrained. Now in the same sketch I'll be making the shape of the bracket in this view. Using the line command I'm tracing out the shape. This line has to be vertical so just right click and make it vertical and this top line from the pin has to be 10 mm and the bottom line from the pin has to be 27 mm. This 27 mm value comes from the uh, parametric sketch which we have made already and the other dimensions can be made parametric as well. So I'm going to just dimension the total width of the bracket as 70 plus 70 which is 140 and this top edge we are on 35 this point over here from the origin next is going to dimension this two points by connecting them with the line so these two points I connected them with the line and now I'm going to use that line to make them horizontal and that line I don't need that line so I'm going to make it construction element and I can just dimension that line from the pin press D select the line and then select the pin and I will give it as 17 mm yeah so this makes the whole sketch fully constrained as you can see it is fully black now I can go ahead and make the extrude so now that we have created the sketch the base sketch for the bracket now it is time to extrude the sketch so I'm going to select the profile which we have made, go to extrude, select the profile and go to the top view, select two sides and I'm going to extrude it to the extreme on either side. 
and I'm going to press OK. So this value is arbitrary because I'm going to use this body to for uh, splitting by using a surface. Next what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to make a surface using which I'm going to split this body. So I'm going to sketch on top of this. Let me just turn on the edges. You can see the edges. So I'm going to sketch on top of this uh, body over here. And so this is the sketch is located over here. I'm going to make a sketch for a surface. Using that surface, I'll be using it to split this body on either side and make the shape which I require. So let us do that. So I'm going to dimension this line from the origin as 3mm. This I want to be the thickness of the bracket. And the other dimensions I'm going to make 42. This point from the origin 42. Then the angle made by this line say 150 the angle made by this line is also 150 and let us keep this point from this line as 23 and this point from okay and this point from this line as 23 so you can see over here I made a sketch which is at a distance of 3 mm from the uh, original sketch which I have made earlier for making the body and I have made it in such a way that it is uh, having an inclined line over here so 150 degrees is that inclination and now I'm going to make a surface out of this so go to the patch workspace go to create extrude select this and now I'm going to use two sides and I'm going to extrude this into a surface so extrude it into a surface on either side by pulling it across the body it should make sure that the surface covers the full body only then can it be splitted the next step is to define the width of the bracket. For that, what I'll be doing is, I'll be making a plane, which is offset from the original sketch, the first sketch, by 60 mm. So, I go to construct, offset plane, select the plane on which I originally sketched the first sketch, select that plane, and then drag the arrow the other side, because this side is the outer side this side is the inner side i'm dragging it this side and i'm going to keep it at minus 60 because minus 60 is the width of the bracket and press ok so this is the width inner width of the bracket and now i'm going to make another mid plane between these two planes so that i can symmetry so i'm going to go to construct go to mid plane select this plane and select this plane to make a mid plane so this is the mid plane next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to mirror this surface on the other side as well so select the body which makes up the surface go to create go to mirror so you can see this object is already selected which is the body the surface and go to mirror plane and select the mid plane which we have created so now you can see the surface is being mirrored now press ok so now we can see the shape of the bracket which is coming into being now the only thing to do is to cut and to add fillets and to shell the solid body so now i'm going to go to the modify go to split body this is under the patch workspace i'm going into modify going to split body 
select the body to split this is the large body which I will be splitting and select the splitting tool first I'll be splitting with the first surface the first surface which I created so for splitting tool select the surface which you are created first and you can see over here it turns red that means it is the splitting tool and if you press ok you will see that the body if you just hide the sketches press this icon to hide the sketches and you will see that the body has been separated into two this is one part and this is one part now you can just hide this part for now this is the part which we need of the body and then we are going to operate on the other part as well doing the same command split body body to split this is the body and splitting tool the other surface the mirrored surface again it's going to turn red indicating that it's the tool and press ok again another body will get created just hide it so this is the body which we need and this will make the shape of the bracket so now that we have arrived at the shape now it's time to give the fillets so I'm just going to hide these surfaces because these surfaces were just used for splitting the body I'm going to hide them and now I'm just going to operate on this body only so I press F which is the hotkey for fillets I would rather go into the model workspace and go to modify and select fillet so you can see the hotkey for a fillet is F fillet these two edges let's keep it at 25 or let's keep it at 30 giving the fillet to these edges let's keep it at 35 let's keep these as 35 press ok the next fillet which we will be dealing with is this one So let's keep it at 8. Again, press Ctrl and select all the edges which you want to fill it. Ctrl and select. Press OK. Next step is to give the bottom fillet this profile right here, the bottom base profile, and that. Since I want the thickness to be 3 mm, so I'll give the 6 mm, which is the minimum radius I can give for a 3 mm thick sheet metal part. So 6 mm. Press OK. The next operation which I'm going to do on this body is to apply the shell command. Under modify, go to shell. Shell basically makes the uh, solid body into hollow by giving it a thickness so it is asking for the faces which I want to remove so I want to remove this top face I want it to be hollow here so I'm going to select that face and also I want to remove these internal faces then only the holes can be through and through and I'm going to give it a thickness of so I've selected three surfaces over here the top smooth surface after the fillet and the internal two cylindrical surfaces I'm going to give a thickness of 3 mm and as you can see this is the bracket press ok so this is the base bracket now if we want to add some stiffening features to this bracket which will be actually required for this kind of application so we can add a stiffener at the bottom face over here we can add a stiffener over here by incorporating that into the body before the shell command so we will do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this shell and I'm going to make a 
depression over here at the bottom face so for that I'm going to make a rectangle so I'm selecting a two point rectangle from the sketch menu making a rectangle with the width of 25 and with the length of 65 and I'm going to make it symmetrical 65 by 2 and I'm going to dimension this edge of the uh, rectangle over here 14.5 to make it symmetrical so now it is centered I'm going to stop sketch so these sketches are hidden I'm just going to press this icon to show them and now this is the rectangle which I made I'm going to select the extrude command and I'm going to extrude cut them so if I just extrude them inside the body it's going to cut the material so you can see operation over here as cut it is cutting material and I'm going to cut it by say 8 mm let us keep it at 6 mm and now I'm going to fillet these sharp edges going to keep it at 6 mm let's keep it at 8 mm and press ok and also these edges need to be filleted also so this edge would be 6 and it, this edge would be again 6 so now we have the depression over here now if you make the shell it is going to incorporate that into the shell as well and if I just hide these sketches I'm going to go to modify go to shell again select the surface the same two three surfaces which I had selected earlier and give the thickness as 3 and you can see over here the depression has been incorporated into the design now this bracket looks much more stiffer 